Notre Dame heading home from the East Coast this morning after beating Boston College at Fenway Park. But that win wasn't as pretty or as easy as many people expected it to be. WSBT 22's Pete Byrne has more from Boston on what it means for Notre Dame's playoff hopes. Failing to bank so-called style points is one thing, but what happened here at Fenway Park on Saturday night is entirely different. In an uncharacteristic showing, Notre Dame committed five turnovers, narrowly defeating Boston College 19-16 to in a game that is sure to raise questions in the eyes of the college football playoff committee as to whether or not Notre Dame, with one loss, is one of the four best teams in the country. It started as a celebration. The first football game at Fenway Park in nearly 50 years, featuring a fighting Irish team ranked fourth in the nation. But the Fenway fun quickly dwindled in the cause for concern. A promising opening drive ends with an interception in the end zone and proved to be a telling sign of the struggles that were to come. The interception was careless. I mean, we try to force on first down, um, you know, uh, a little boot pass into a corner that's sinking in the back of the end zone. That's crazy. The real craziness is what followed. Notre Dame committed five turnovers on the night, three of them in the red zone. And despite amassing nearly 450 yards on offense, the Irish end the night with just two touchdowns and 19 total points, narrowly defeating a three-win team. As an offense, we know that this late in November and this late in the season, um, you can't have multiple turnover games. And for us to put the ball on the field as many times as we did and for me to put the ball in harm's way as much as I did, um, it, it's you know surprising that you come out with a victory. Offensively, I thought we were moving the ball effectively against a really good defense. And it's just the turnovers that, that you unexpected it, that these guys are so conscious of it and um, it, just one of those things that, that you really can't put your finger on because they haven't been sloppy and they haven't been mistake prone all year and then tonight they throw up a game like this. Those uncharacteristic mistakes overshadowed strong nights by senior receivers Chris Brown and Amir Carlisle, each of whom had more than 95 yards receiving and Notre Dame's two touchdowns. And the Irish defense played well enough to overcome the offense's mistakes. But it was those mistakes that, unfortunately for Notre Dame, may be the lasting impression of the game. They turned the football over. I mean, the, the story to the game here is if we take care of the football, this game separates. Um, as, as, as well as Boston College intended to play and did play, um, you know, we turned the ball over, you know, four times in, in, in easy scoring uh, uh, areas of the field. So, um, those are things that are correctable, and we'll get them corrected. Tonight was not a good night in taking care of the football, and we got away with it because the kids persevered. Yes, Notre Dame got away with one Saturday night here at Fenway Park, but the Irish also know they cannot afford to make the same mistakes. Not next week at Stanford, not in whatever game follows after that. At 10-1, and 1, Notre Dame's resume right now is extremely strong, but this is a dangerous time of year to be playing anything less than your very best football. Reporting from the Shamrock Series at Fenway Park in Boston, Pete Byrne, WSBT Channel 22 Sports.